Good afternoon and welcome. I am so excited today to be here with Miss Vermont 2023. Yamuna Turco is with us and she is a student at St. Michael's College and she is also headed to the Miss America pageant on behalf of our beautiful Green Mountain State. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. So I saw the pictures of you winning and you were crying, which is sort of... <laughs> yes. <laughs> what happens? That must have been very emotional. It was. I mean, the any pictures in the first five minutes, my mouth is just open, jaw completely dropped. I was so shocked, but I was so excited. And I definitely did cry, but it was, it was such a, like a wonderful moment. I got to know all the girls I competed with and they were absolutely wonderful and they were so supportive. And what do you think contributed to your representing Vermont in the, the national pageant? So a big part of my preparation for Miss Vermont was definitely meeting everyone and getting to know everyone, but also really doing my research about the different aspects of the competition, how I can do my best with the skills I have. And then moving forward for the Miss America competition, I'm really focusing on the support structure I have and all the past Miss Vermonts that I get to utilize as a resource and kind of making all of my, I wanna say skills and talents just on a larger scale. I'm very excited. And how did you first become involved with pageants? So this is actually my first competition. So I'm brand new to this, I'm very excited. But I actually got into the Miss Vermont competition from my friend Emma. We go to St. Mike's together and we had a class and she was Miss Vermont's teen, outstanding teen at the time, when we entered St. Mike's as first years. And she was doing the competition and I asked her more about it. And then I started doing my research and I reached out to the director, Darcy, we had a Zoom meeting, it went amazing, and I decided I wanted to do it. And what was appealing to you about participating? It was definitely the volunteering and the community service aspect. Um, I love working in communities that I live in. I think it's very important. But also, Miss America is a scholarship organization. It's one of the largest scholarship organizations for young women in the country. So that was a big piece. You know, as a college student, I want to make sure that I can graduate on time and not having to worry about the cost. Well, I think it's also framed as a leadership organization. Yes. So talk to us a little bit about the components. And well, before we do, there there's a kind of mythology about Miss America and beauty pageants and that um, they really celebrate and venerate women's beauty above other aspects of our accomplishments. And I'm wondering if you could respond to that or just explain really what the Miss Vermont pageant is about. Yeah, absolutely. So the Miss America organization has gone through so many changes I want to say every year, but especially at the start of like the, tw the, the 20s, I guess we can say the 2020s, because not only do we have a new CEO, Robin, who's absolutely incredible, but the focus has definitely been more on the scholarship, what women do and the skills that we have. We have scholarships for women's academics, for community service work, for women in STEM, women in business. So that really, I think, draws away from the, I guess, myth almost like the mythos almost we had that pageants and competitions are only about looks and beauty when it's absolutely about leadership and it's about confidence and it's about the skills you have and how you can best present them to help people and talk about your skills and what you have and how you're helping people i know literacy is one of your really important volunteer areas yeah, absolutely. So my CSI is One Book, One Child, which focuses on not only donating books to libraries, community centers, and elementary schools, but really getting different kinds of books into kids' hands. So the most important thing that you can have is acknowledging that not every genre works for everyone. So books have been so important in my life, and my parents really instilled that in me. You know, as a first generation American, my parents are from a totally different country, totally different cultures. And so books really helped me learn about the culture around me, but also learn about their cultures and other cultures and broaden my perspective. I think having an open mind and really allowing myself to be in new situations and environments is one of the skills that I have. And it definitely has allowed me so many opportunities like this one, like it's my first time and I just figured why not and I was able to you know represent the great state of Vermont I'm very happy and I'm very excited but 
I also think another quality that I have that is going to help me is that leadership quality. I strive to learn how to help people best. I want to listen to people so I can help you in a way that fits you because what works for one person just does not work for everyone. So your background or the, what you're studying in school is psychology, is that right? Yes, yeah, so I'm studying psychology with a minor in political science. Um, I do want to go into community work, so this organization has already helped me find so many opportunities, so many meet so many incredible people. I really want to go into this line of work because I love helping people and I love meeting new people. And what does it mean to you to be the first first generation American to be crowned Miss Vermont? I think it's such an incredible thing because if I can come into this wonderful state, you know, my parents are not from the states, so if I can come here and I can win, be crowned, but I also get to represent everyone in this state. I'm an American, but I also have the experience of my parents who are not. So I can relate to everyone across this great state. You know, we have so many people from so many different kinds of backgrounds that I want to be able to relate to them, and I think I'll be able to. So what were some of the other service projects that the contestants were involved in? Can you just give us a little bit of a sample? Yeah, absolutely. So we had several young women who were also focusing on literacy, but different aspects. So one of our teens, Zoe, her CSI was focused on writing. And then we have my friend Emma, hers is focusing on um, period poverty, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, sorry. It's fine, it's completely fine. So hers was focusing on period poverty, um, getting menstrual products to people who menstruate. Um, we have Hannah who also goes, to, works at St. Mike's, but used to go to St. Mike's. And hers was on stroke reduction and awareness. So she made an incredible book that educates people about the signs of a stroke, what to do, and also stories. So you can kind of, we can build that community of people who've gone through this shared experience. So I'm just gonna remind people that we're speaking with Miss Vermont. And this is a very exciting time because there's Miss Vermont and Miss Teen Vermont who we will be interviewing in another time. And your Yamuna, Yamuna Turco um, is the recipient of the 2023 and is headed to not Atlantic City anymore, no. to Miss America. Where is the pageant going to be? We're not entirely sure currently, but timeline-wise it'll be in December or January, but we're not sure what state or what city yet. So when we find out, we'll let everyone know. So I noticed when you walked in, and I still am quite impressed, <laughs> it's like a beautiful <laughs> posture. So did you develop that prior to becoming involved in the pageant, or did were you trained and prepped in um, being a re regal? <laughs> um, I was a ballet dancer for 10 years, mm. so that is why the posture is there. You know, I used to teach ballet as well, a certified Jacchetti classical ballet teacher. So I had point shoes, so you do have to have excellent posture, and it has just stuck with me. I'm, I'm very lucky, but I would say coming into the competition definitely refocused me on that, and I really, definitely overall confidence-wise, I would say this has helped, because it just helps how you carry yourself. Absolutely, it does, and how people perceive you, and really, actually, if your um, spine is straight, then you're breathing, and so yeah, exactly. everything, everything's <laughs> working out a lot better. <laughs> Absolutely. So for people who might be interested in mm -hmm. participating, what are the criteria for Miss, Miss Vermont joining the, the pageant? Are there ages? I know there's a Mrs. Vermont. Is that still true? Yeah, so ages or age-wise, I would say, if you want to compete for Miss Teen Vermont or Miss Vermont's teen, um, between the ages of 13 and 17, and then to compete for Miss Vermont, it's ages 18 to 28. That was actually just increased. It used to be 26. Um, I think it's incredible to have a wider range of young women competing. Mm -hmm. um, you do have to live in the state of Vermont, work in the state of Vermont, or be a student in the state of, state of Vermont. Um, so that opens it to a lot of people. I think it's an incredible organization. And honestly, I would say just try it. If you are a little hesitant, you can meet with our executive director. If not, I think you should do it. Everyone gets a local sash. So prior to being Miss Vermont, I was Miss Green Mountains. And I was able to actually pick that title because of the way our local competitions work. We don't exactly have them in the state of Vermont. So I was able to choose the area that I represented. I love the mountains. I think they're absolutely beautiful. You know, we are the Green Mountain State. Yeah. So I would say that 
I think young women should just go for it. And so when you were considering joining the pageant, you looked at uh, different aspects. That, and what are the aspects that you're evaluated on and that you prepared for? Yeah, absolutely. So my favorite part of the competition is interview, and you do that first. So that is just you and the judges, and they go over your resume and your community service initiative statements, your CSI. Um, I love that piece because it really is just a conversation. You go in, you feel nervous, but after all, it just becomes a conversation. There is no that they're the judges and I'm a delegate. It is we are having a conversation as people who just want to get to know each other. Um, and then that's the day before competition. The day after, we have on-stage question, which is about your CSI. Um, and then we have talent, fitness, and evening gown. I would have to say of the second day of competition, evening gown is my favorite. I love dressing up and getting ready, but also seeing everyone else get dressed up and super excited. It is the last phase of competition. Mm -hmm. So you get to see everyone all dressed up. Um, and to prepare for interview, we do have mock interviews. And that was very helpful because they go over your resume, they tell you what you can improve upon, and you have like a month to do it. Hmm. Talent, I'm, I'm a singer, I've been singing since I was five. Um, and for that I just really locked myself in a practice room at St. Mike's and was just trying to get my talent completely nailed down. Um, and you sang? I sang A Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. Neat. Yeah, it was, I love that song. I think it's stunningly beautiful and I also just, it was, it was a deliberate choice. You know, I wanted something that was very loud and very powerful, but also that I can use my own range and my own experiences in. So yeah. That's terrific. So what's been your favorite part of this experience so far? I mean, you, it, it, you've been involved in the competition, but now you're Miss Vermont, so you must be traveling around the state. And tell us about that and what, what's the high, what are the high points? Yeah, no, I would definitely have to say the high point has been meeting all of the people. I've met so many people and everyone has been so kind and people are so curious and I am more than happy to answer any questions. I absolutely love doing that and just getting to know everyone. I actually was just at the Maple Festival yesterday. It was absolutely incredible. I got to have maple cotton candy, which I haven't had in years, but I absolutely love it. Um, and there were so many people and I got to see all the hard work that people put in. You know, there was so many different businesses that you just get to see and everyone shows out and it was incredible. And I'm so happy and like fortunate that I get to be able to have these experiences, you know, and just traveling around the state. I'm very excited. So what are you doing this summer? This summer, there's a lot of things in store, but I'm really hoping to get into the libraries in the state of Vermont. So a goal I have would be to visit a bunch of the libraries that we have in Vermont. You know, unfortunately, we do have more cities and towns than we have libraries in Vermont, but a lot of them are city, like groupings of cities. So I really want to get into a bunch of libraries. A goal for the year would be to get to every public library in the state of Vermont. And I think I can make that happen. I'm very excited. I bet the libraries are very excited. I'm excited. That's terrific. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So Yamuna Turco, thank you so much for joining us and thanks for shedding light on the process of being a delegate. I like that word so much yeah, better me than too. a contestant. <laughs> yeah, me yeah. too. So much better. And, um, and really shedding light on this leadership program, which I think is important for people to understand that we're training and supporting the next generation of women to lead in our communities. Yeah, we also, I'm just thinking about yesterday, we have a program called the Red Clover Kids, which is for kids who are too young to compete, but it is also a leadership program. You get paired with a delegate. You have a bunch of different events that we go to. We do arts and crafts. We bake cookies around Christmas time. Um, it's honestly incredible. You know, we were just with one of our Red Clover kids and her mom, Jody, yesterday. Addison and Jody are incredible. And I would really say that if you're thinking about it or you think your child might like it, that's a great place to start. It is for kids 12 and younger. And it's that leadership piece again. Yeah. Well, we'll look forward to talking with Miss Teen Vermont. Yeah. Miss Vermont Teen. Yes, Miss Vermont's Teen. Miss Vermont's Teen. It. That's yes. right. Okay, that's great. And yeah. thank you so much for being here. Yeah, of course. And I think we have a little video of your performance, so we're going to tack that on to the end. Okay.
Thanks. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned here to Town Meeting TV. Delegate number two, Yamuna Turco, joins us next with a vocal presentation to A Change Is Going To Come. It's bad.